Welcome to Raj Online Trainings in the series of Java Puzzle. Let us go with one more new puzzle today. Here we have taken this Java Puzzle 17 with main method and we are just going with the message system.out.print sum. We are just calling the method sum with the two arguments 10, 20 and space between the values and sum 10, 20, 30. Here we are going with a sum method static int sum which takes int three dots n a new concept today then here we are taking a variable sum equal to zero and we are taking a for loop this for loop we call enhanced for loop added in java 5 version for int x colon n and we are taking one one value of x and adding adding it to sum and we are just returning the value of sum now let us see the options for this program the A option is compile time error, B option is 10, 20, 30, C option 30, 60, and D option goes with exception. Now, let us understand the correct output of this program here. See, in this main method, we are invoking this sum method and passing two arguments, 10, 20. So when we invoke this sum method, it is going to invoke this sum method and these two values, these two values will come and store into this n here. And three, these three dots, this three dots concept, we call it as variable arguments. These three dots, we call it as what? Variable arguments added in this concept, this feature, this feature is added in Java 5 version. This feature with this variable arguments feature whenever we see these three dots we call this concept as variable arguments and this feature got added in java 5 version and this 10 20 will come and store into this n and this n will act like a array here this n will act like what array now see when we pass this 10 20 it will come and store into this array n so what are the values present in this array n we are having this 10.20. Now what we are doing in this method, we are taking a variable sum and we are traversing this array n. We are traversing this array n. Means it is going to take one one element from this array n and stores into x variable and this for loop whatever we are using, we call it as enhanced for loop. So the use of enhanced for loop is it's like for each takes one one element of array n stores into this variable x here. So what you are doing here? We are having sum equal to sum plus x. So initial value of sum will be what here? We are having variable sum. Initial value of sum is 0. So this for loop will repeat for how many times? Two times because the array is what here? With contains two elements. First 10 will come and store into x. So sum equal to sum plus x. The value of x is what here? 10. So 0 plus 10, the value of sum will become not 10. Again the loop repeats. Second value what it takes now? 20. 20 will be added to x. Sorry, 20 will come and store into x. Sum equal to sum plus x, that is 10 plus 20. The value of sum will become now 30. Then again the loop repeats. Since we are having only two elements, the loop repeats for two times. Return sum. What is the value of sum here? 30. 30 will be returned to this method. So when this method is invoked, the value is what here? 30. The value is 30. Again, you are calling this sum method one more time. We are having a space again calling some method one more time. Now, when this method is invoked, these three values will come and store into this variable argument n. Now, this n is what now? It contains three values. It's like an array. It goes with three values 10, 20, 30. Now, we are traversing this for loop again. We are traversing this array n. Initial value of sum is what? 0. So this for loop will be repeated three times now. So this 10, 20 and 30 will get added to some variable. The result will be what here? 60. So finally, we are going to return some value, which we are going to return 60. So when you call this method initially, this is going to return 30. When you call this sum method, it's going to return now 60. So the output of this program is 30 and 60. So the new concept over here is variable arguments. So the new concept is what here? Yeah? Variable arguments. So whenever you call a method, if you are 
if we are calling the same method and passing multiple arguments then we can manage this code by using the concept of variable arguments and see the syntax is like the data type three dots and the variable name and we are using one more concept here enhanced for loop this is also added in java 5 version so the correct output for this program is 3060 that's about in this puzzle see you in the next puzzle with new code thank you all please subscribe like and share